Greetings, Narcy friends. Welcome to Props and Wheels and to another episode of Budget RC. I got this Flyzone e race I found it through Facebook Marketplace from a local seller and I got it for about $60. It's not, that's not entirely true because I was buying some other stuff from this person and everything was $120 but you know I assigned about $60 to this one and it came in a condition that was ready to bind to my TX16S. It came with a four channel, small four channel orange DSM2 receiver and it's battery as well. I'm hoping the battery is uh, still good because this doesn't seem to have a lot of power. Maybe it is made like that because you know it's not very heavy. It's quite lightweight and for the first time I did like uh, some elevon mixing. So channel ones and two are mixed together. The uh, aileron and elevator channel. This is a bank of yank plane. It doesn't have a rudder so it's a three channel airplane. And the guy told me that he converted this uh, to have landing gear. Uh, originally this doesn't have. And it was brand new sitting in his attic. It had a little bit of attic rash or you know whatever you call basement rash and a lot of dust on it. So I cleaned it up and it looks good. Everything seems to be good. Nice and shiny. And I set up uh, rates on this one. 100%, 75 and 50. And I'm going to start with 75%. It's on this uh, three-way switch, three-position switch. Because I don't want to roll it or go up and down too fast by using 100%. But I, I also would like to have some authority. And wish me luck because I don't know if it's going to fly or crash and burn. Alright, uh, right now the wind is calm so I can take off almost any direction. And there's like a holding spot over here. Everything seems to be level and I'm just stalling. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully this will fly well. Alright, so it was going down quite a bit. <laughs> and it didn't feel like it had a lot of power. Okay, I bent the landing gear that's not supposed to be there. So I need to give a lot of uh, up elevator it looks like and set it to 100%. So I went all the way to you know, full up elevator trim and let's bend, hopefully bend this back without breaking anything. Uh, so make shift. I may even uh, take this off at one point. You know, grass is not a good medium to <laughs> land with this landing gear. But uh, for now, I'm going to keep it like that. And it felt, instead of like tail heavy, it felt really nose heavy. And another good thing is the prop. There's a prop saver mechanism. So it didn't break when it hit. It just kind of pulled to the side a little bit and there is this rubber band holding it together so that's a plus okay let's try again I may need to throw it a little harder and then reach for the controller quicker but it feels like it is a little underpowered so okay it is flying Ah, nice and gentle. Not bad. I just don't want to overbank. Oh, the sun, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it in my area because there are some games going on. There are a lot of kids around it. This is the empty area. So let's take it a little, couple mistakes high. I don't know if you can, I, I hope I can show you my my hands on the controller, the third camera. I am at about 60% throttle. Let's slow it down and see how it uh, how it stalls. Okay, 
I mean, it just mushes over. It doesn't like drop. I'm just, you know, full, full pull on the elevator right now. And that, that's it. It's just the nose comes down a little bit. It is very stable. It's more stable than I expected because from the shape, you will, you will assume that this will be a very touchy airplane that goes out of balance very quickly. By the way, it's still trying to pull forward uh, the nose down and and I may just take those landing gear off at the first chance. Yeah, the location of the sun is not the best today. And let me try to bring it a little closer. And it is agile, I mean it turns very nicely and very stably and by the way of course this doesn't have any stability control. And it can turn very sharp. Okay, let's do not stall it. Okay, I'm going to take it all up. I don't know how good the battery is. Well, I can. I'm going to climb a little bit. I'm, I keep giving uh, up elevator all the time. Because if I let go, the snow starts coming down. And let me check. Yes, I am at 100% 100, 100 rates. And let's see if I can do a little bit of uh, tricks with it. Yeah, it's not as, as fast as I expected, but it can do nice rolls at 100%. Maybe it needs a new battery, I'm not sure. So this is full throttle. The battery may be old. Okay, so I didn't have enough enough speed, so that's what happened. It just mushed over in the middle of the loop and just stabilized. Let's see if I can get a little bit of altitude and then try that again. I would like to be able to do... Oh, okay, it's coming down. It is, uh, I think, very little battery left, so I'm going to set it down. Okay, that was it. That was a short flight, but it was fun, I guess. I need to buy a new battery for it and the battery is kind of like a strange connector I will show you in a, in a second and it landed fine on this uh, small landing gear or strange looking vent uh, one advantage of having a landing gear on an airplane like this one is it will you know save the prop if, especially if you're landing on a hard surface. All right, I mean, I think it was a good, good deal. I just uh, wish I had another battery. Let me show you what, what it looks like because it's kind of like a strange looking battery. Yeah, the, the connector is like this strange one pin connector is on this side, the other pin is on the other side. So they can only go in one way. And it's from Electrofly, 250 milliamp hour, 20C, 2 cell. So 7.4 volt, little battery. And the first thing probably I'm going to next is swap this connector. It's a JST connector and then I can use other batteries that I have. I think I have like a 400 milliamp hour, 450 milliamp hour battery. If the weight is not too much, I may be able to fly to fly a little faster. But hey, it's budget RC. You have to be flexible with these kind of things. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, if you would like to see this plane again flying, maybe with a fresh battery, let me know in the comment section. Stay safe and healthy. Hope to see you on the next video. Take care. Bye bye.